Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, day of trading. Uh, today was definitely the aftermath. We'll get to that uh, in a second. Uh, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, all we ask is take one second. That's all it takes. Uh, take one second. Uh, show some support for the channel. Click a like. Come aboard. Subscribe. Share. And we can continue uh, to provide you some pretty decent value well, at least hope to give you some pretty decent value on the day-to-day -day basis. So let's talk about, you know, let's talk about the facts. Let's talk about the data. Um, I've always maintained uh, through every single uh, video, through every single year that goes by that, you know, nobody can predict of what happens in the stock market tomorrow, right? You can get ready for it. You, could, uh, you can uh, accumulate the data. You can watch for confirmations. But the market, because of the Fed and geopolitical concerns uh, and hell, UFOs, right, for the last year or so, you just don't know. It's not set in stone what's going to happen for the next year, so for the next day. So all we can do is basically trade on the data, on the research from the night before. And this is the data, okay? This is the data coming into uh, today's session. Uh, let's look at the indexes first. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, we talked about this now for a number of days lost its 50-day moving average on April the 4th. Since it lost its uh, moving average on April the 4th, uh, the diamonds have gone from 385 all the way down to 376. Again, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's about eight 900 uh, Dow points. Uh, the IWM has lost the 50-day moving average, and, and the Russell has gone from, you know, not a huge move yet, but the point is it's gone from 202 all the way down to 193. Yesterday, we had two things happen. Uh, the SPY lost its 50-day moving average to 509 level, and it traded all the way down to the next support, which is roughly around this 502, 503 level. And the big one, the one I track, uh, the one I trade, uh, is the NASDAQ 100. Yesterday, finally gave back the 50-day moving average and traded all the way into the next uh, rising support to this uh, 430 level. Now, here's the hard data coming into today's session. We already know below the 50-day moving average, and if you're a brand new trader, uh, this is kind of a cheat sheet. Above the 50-day moving average, you're bullish. Below the 50-day moving average is a sell signal. And when the market is above the 50-day moving average, you are a buyer on weakness into rising support. When stocks are below the 50-day moving average, you are a seller or a shorter, right? Into declining, uh, into declining supply. And that's and that literally is the cheat code. You can't buy strength uh, in a market that has technical damage because what you wind up doing is majority of you guys don't have all these useless lines that I have. So you're kind of trading blind. You're, you're, you're buying stocks into supply. And the first thing I said this morning uh, when you had a little bit of weakness, assume a little bit of strength today in the market, and I said, you, you have to be on pills. Like when, when, when this morning you woke up, you saw it, you know, meta up six, this one up six, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and you know, all I kept on saying is you, you really got to be on strong pills to buy stocks into strength the day after there was technical downage. It's like, and I, I tweeted this out a few hours ago, it's like, you know, going back to uh, Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki, right? There was massive casualties, massive damage. And, you know, the people who survived the next day, they finally opened up the door to see how many people were actually left. That's exactly what today's session felt like. Okay. Yesterday we talked about the idea, is it possible to have a dead cat bounce today? Yeah, it's possible, right? After technical damage, you'll, you'll probably see a situation of an inside day. And the problem was that didn't happen, right? It, it, it didn't happen. And when you look at today's scoreboard, uh, after yesterday's 300-point decline in the NASDAQ, they couldn't even squeak out a green day, okay? The NASDAQ today, uh, NASDAQ was down uh, 20 points to S&P, 
uh, was down 10 handles. And the Dow, after having a massive uh, eight, 900 point decline from the 50 day moving average, was finally up a whopping 63 points. Um, not great, right? Absolutely not great. Um, we had some more, I guess, I don't know if you want to call it testimony or some statements by Powell. Basically, you know, he said and reiterated the same mumbo jumbo that they basically reiterate every single time uh, anybody in the Fed has to talk. Yeah, blah, 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 inflation, blah, blah, blah. We hope to curb it, blah, blah, blah. Our goal is 2%, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's exactly what happened uh, after he started uh, and stopped speaking. Let me just get rid of this, right? You can see here when he stopped, when he started speaking, the NASDAQ, literally the Qs went from 432 all the way down to 2970. And then they ripped, all the way ripped to 433s. And then they sold off all the way back down to 430. So nothing got accomplished by the bulls. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't even muster, well, they couldn't muster, uh, a dead cat bounce. And like I said in last night's video, the longer we continue to build below the 50-day moving average, the higher probability uh, we are going to go lower. So here's some more stats for today. Again, I, I, I'm a big believer in data. I, I'm a big believer in accumulating data because it confirms basically what I'm seeing uh, with my own two eyes. So here's here's where we we begin, right? So the cues we know we lost the 50-day moving average yesterday. That created a sell signal. Today on this rally attempt, okay, on at least a rally attempt, only 11 of the NASDAQ 100 members we're green on the day. Okay, it's a very, very important point. Uh, the, the more important point of that was zero out of the NASDAQ 100 members price improved and got above yesterday's channel. These are the numbers. Okay, we, you know, again, I love a good bull market just like everybody else. Like I've said, there's more liquidity, people feel better, but uh, there's something that hits different when there's a sell signal and stocks are taking the elevator down versus the steps up. And that's a very, very big deal. Uh, there was a couple of names that, that did show some strength today. Uh, NVIDIA today got upgraded along with pretty much pretty much every tech stock today. And yeah, the stock was up 13 points, but guess what it did, right? It was up 13 points, but it still put in an inside day. Didn't take out the previous day's high, didn't take out the previous low. Again, not exactly a great thing. However, SMCI did, right? SMCI uh, did put in a pretty big move today. Uh, a 10% move. And if, if somehow we do get a dead cat bounce uh, back tomorrow, yeah, this is the one you definitely want to keep an eye on. At least it reclaimed uh, the previous channel. And now it actually looks pretty good. So if it starts building above today's channel for tomorrow, yeah, I mean, there's a shot this thing continues. But that's the problem, guys, right? And, and I've, I've always maintained this. We always talked about this, especially during the, uh, the bear market of 2022. Unfortunately, new traders are looking for the stock that stands out. Look at this one. It's relatively strong. I'm not looking for the one that stands out. I'm looking for the 12,000 who don't. That's the point. It's not the sum of the parts. I don't care about the sum of the parts. I care about the whole. So if the whole is telling me we are directional bias in one direction, how much confidence do you really have taking anything to the long side that's more than a scalp? Again, like I sort of talked about in last night's video, and I'm going to reiterate today, the longer we, we stay below the 50, the higher probability well, we're going to go lower. So the bulls need to in the next day or so to get their asses back above the 50 day. We're going to have the, a conversation in the lower prices. So if you look at individual names, you'll kind of see what I'm saying, right? So let's start off with Tesla, right? Start off with Tesla. Third time's a charm. Fourth time's a charm. There we go. Tesla, right? We talked about Tesla. Yesterday it was the lowest close in the whole formation. It got below this range here. It got just absolutely hit today. Uh, when traded all the way down to 5370s, um, I finally covered the thing uh, into the 5450s wash, uh, which was great. Um, you know, kind of, you know, kind of firmed up a little bit today. I'm going to be looking for uh, any type of any type of rejection in the next couple of days into strength, uh, as long as this keeps on staying below this 16050 level, which was the whole range that we talked about for the last couple of days. It's going to continue to go lower. Uh, you saw. Uh, pretty aggressive 145, 150 weekly puts coming in for next week's expiration as well. So any uh, any strength in Tesla, I'll be using at least for one or two days, using that for a potential rejection uh, into uh, strength. Look at Meta, right? Meta yesterday lost its 20-day moving average and just couldn't price improve today. 
It held the bottom of the channels, the same price back-to-back -back days. I'm watching this thing for tomorrow. There's more market weakness. I'm definitely watching this thing. Look at Microsoft. Same thing, right? Same thing. Microsoft lost $14 yesterday. It was up 94 cents today. Same thing. It held the bottom of the range here. Now, back-to-back -back days, if it loses the bottom of the range, uh, it should get hit more. So you have a, a, a whole bunch of names that are doing exactly the same thing. Look at Amazon, right? Amazon today stopped at the 20-day. Now, what happens? Again, it couldn't even price improve. And this is a, one of the better-looking charts out there. It couldn't price improve today's action. Uh, look at a name, for example, like... Um, what, else, what else is there? We talked about uh, AMD, right? AMD as well. You know, AMD tried to get back above yesterday's channel, got rejected off the five-day moving average. And this is... And this is after losing the 50-day moving average at 182. So the stock is already down, you know, already down, you know, after yesterday, down about 25 points from the 50-day moving average. And again, this is why we keep on reiterating the point of this, the lower stocks continue to build underneath the 50-day. More and more names are going to start to crack. So it's very, very important uh, that the bulls, uh, you know, step up tomorrow or the next day and start doing what they have to, because if not, Again, like I said in last night's video, I, I'm not saying this thing this is going to turn into 2022, but the longer we stay, the longer we have the ability to go right down. So that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, it's a game plan. Uh, the game plan going into tomorrow is the same thing today. You know, use weak stocks that are confirming lower, uh, short them into supply, uh, stocks that are breaking down. Uh, below the previous day's channel, obviously short them into weakness. And until there, the narrative changes, until we start neg like neglecting and engulfing bad news, that's going to be the game plan because that's the formula, that's the blueprint uh, in a sell bias market. And unfortunately, again, you can you can close your eyes, close your ears, stop your feet, uh, you know, go nah nah nah. nah. That's where we are. We're in a sell signal. Below 50-day moving average is a sell signal. And the faster you understand that in your developing career, the faster you'll stop making mistakes like buying stocks into strength below supply. Guys, have a great night, everybody. I gotta cut this a little bit short. I gotta take my kids uh, to basketball training. Tomorrow's a new day, game plan in hand. Always we're ready for both sides of the market. We have an opinion, we have a bias, and now we wait for confirmation to play itself out. Guys, God bless, have a great night, and I will see you all in the field tomorrow.